Hello, my name is Lindsay, and today I want to talk to you about a badge that is confirmed to be going legacy soon, so you won't be able to obtain it after it goes legacy after it is out of the game. But you might want to get it soon, and I will show you how to get it in this video as well. So when the Royal High developers name something or call something legacy, it just means you will no longer be able to obtain it but if you have it, you will still have it. For example, if you go down to the legacy slash not for sale section, you'll see a lot of skirts that are no longer obtainable in the Royal High shop. But if you already own these skirts, you will still own them. They aren't going to leave your inventory. So, so if you have the badge in your journal that we're going to talk about today, it will stay in your journal. It just won't be obtainable anymore. However, it does seem like some people are having troubles with getting this badge to show up in their journal. But the badge we're going to talk about today is the Bake the Cake badge. I'm sure some of you guys have already guessed. So I am going to show you a clip from the royal high developers letting us know that this badge will be leaving with enchantix and will in fact be going legacy and then of course i will show you how to get it i may look a little different as i'm showing you because i will have to switch over to an account to get it since i already have the badge new players still get the cake badge or will that badge that if you were not in the old royal high you can't get it i don't Right now, we don't have any anticipate. We don't have any. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right now, it would be a legacy thing, right? Like it's only for people who played Enchantix. We don't have any current plans to do anything else with that. We need to go to Enchantix High. And to get this badge, you will need to choose Animal Power. This step is important. Make sure you pick Animal Power. And we will need to go to the baking class for this badge. Okay, it is now time for baking class. It can take a while to be able to join baking class because it is one of those classes that start after school. Now this part is important. A lot of people miss this step. If you're going to do this class and get this badge, you need to go upstairs. So you need to be fast and fight for a kitchen upstairs. The ones downstairs are glitched and they don't work. So once you've claimed a kitchen, you're going to look at the ingredients so step one we need a cup of sugar you're going to find the sugar you're going to grab it and you're going to take it to the bowl now we need a one stick of butter that is in the fridge and so you're going to get the butter out and once again you're going to put it in the bowl and then the next ingredient or next step is going to be to stir so you're just going to follow the cookbook and you're going to do all the steps so it is different then the bacon and campus two and campus one. So now we need eggs and this is the part that is glitched in the downstairs kitchen is the eggs. I don't think you can get the eggs out of the fridge. So we're putting in the eggs. Now we need vanilla. So grab the vanilla, bring it back, put it in the bowl. Looks like I did not grab it. So I'm gonna try it one more time. This time we're able to get it, we're putting it in the bowl. Now once again, we need to stir, so you will need to grab another spoon and come back to the bowl and mix together. Now you need flour, so you're going to grab the flour, take it back to the bowl. Once again, you're going to need another spoon, so grab a spoon, take it to the bowl and stir. So for the flavor, you will need to pick vanilla. This is another important step. So make sure you pick vanilla. Now we need to grab a pan. The pan needs to be round. So make sure you grab the rounded pan. Go ahead and place it on pan set. Then you're going to grab your batter and you're going to put it in the pan. And then you're going to take it and stick it in the oven. So once your timer hits zero, you're going to take it out of the oven. And this is the part that confuses people. You need to bring it over here to the frosting station. So go ahead and stick your pan on any of the frosting stations. And this is where you will need your animal powers to decorate the cake. And then oh, once that is decorated, you have completed it. So grab your cake and then you will get the badge. So let me know if you're going to be getting the Baked the Cake badge or if you already have gotten the Baked the Cake badge. And please make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that bell notification so you never miss when I post. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!